just come to the end of Longish Project, which was the Farm Boy hit and miss engine, and thinking about the next big project and wondering what I could do while I thought about it. And I always fancied building a um, or owning a, a, a die filing machine. Uh, and I came across this one, which is uh, a kit um, sold by Hemingway, uh, originally designed by Edgar T. Westbury in, believe it or not, 1950. Uh, it took about a month and it was a really useful and enjoyable project. I won't go into the construction in boring detail, but here's just a few pictures of how the thing was machined and went together. There's, there's nothing terribly complicated uh, on this, and it, it only took, uh, I guess, about a month from start to finish. So just a nice, simple, straightforward project, but it does require some accurate machining and fitting if it's going to work properly. This really is a, a, a very clever design. Edgar Westbury uh, was a very talented engineer and I've, I've built other things that he's designed and they all share one theme is that they're all things that are possible or were possible in the amateurs workshop in the 1950s and that makes them quite interesting historically. The filing machine is designed to be used on the cross slide of a three and a half inch centre height lathe and is driven by the lathe spindle. All will be revealed in a moment. Mounting on the lathe is fairly straightforward, but I found it a bit of a fiddle to start with until I developed a knack. But uh, it, it's largely self-aligning. Uh, once you have the uh, drive pin, and the chuck or the collet chuck in this case, um, everything lines up itself, and then you just tighten up the uh, angle plate. Um, obviously, lock the cross slide, so that's quite important. There's pretty limited clearance, as you can see here. Uh, between the um, the slider on the filing machine and the lathe bedways. The table is adjustable for tilt and the files are all mounted in uh, holders uh, and designed to cut on the downstroke. Um, these are all um, uh, four inch uh, Swiss pattern files or needle files and all the small ones are soldered, soft soldered into carriers that fit in the slider. The uh, file tangs are ground off uh, so that there are no sharp ends. Uh, part of the machine is also a bow, which is an aluminium casting, and primarily its purpose is to hold uh, a saw blade uh, so that you can use it as a sawing machine. 
but it occurred to me that it was also possible with a, a, a subtly different mounting to put normal Swiss pattern files in. Uh, and this one here is a four inch file. And again, it's remarkably effective for that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering if at some point it, these would be better off uh, soldered into a holder and the tang cut off so that it was possible to drop something over the file, but time will tell. I mean, the point is that there are numerous ways of mounting files. The, the only important thing to, to bear in mind is that they should all cut on the downstroke. I should say something about the operating speed. Um, Ed Gillespie says that um, it was designed for speeds up to 700 strokes a minute, which seems pretty quick. Um, this here is operating at about half that, uh, and that seems to be a, a good speed. I, I did find at high speeds is that you get a certain amount of chatter. It's really controllable, and filing to a line is really quite easy compared to doing it by hand. Uh, one of the um, other features of the, the machine is its ability to be used with coping saw blades. Um, I, this is uh, the only one I happen to have on hand at the time which is fairly coarse but I think with, um, with a fine blade it would be possible to cut quite thin sheet material accurately. I've left a link in the description to Hemingway kits uh, for those that are interested. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.